Well, when I first heard about Kairos, I was called on to the campus ministry office and I was told I was going to be an original leader. So I was not sure what that meant, so I was told him I would ask my parents about it. And when I went, it was like a really like, awesome experience because everyone was really open and nice. I went with a bunch of people I didn't know because I went with a senior class and I was a junior. And it was just a really great experience. Uh, I went in Kairos back in uh, October and uh, basically uh, it was uh, one of the best experiences of my life. Um, people, like when I was a junior, people told me, you know, make sure you go early and I didn't know why. I didn't kind of, I kind of figured it out as I went there, but uh, it, it really, it really opens you up. It, um, it tells you that the people that you see, like the friends that you, you see every day in the hallways, you know, you really don't know what goes on in their lives. You know, you may think you have it hard, but the things that, that you hear when you're in Kairos and the things that I heard and uh, my group that, I mean, it really, it really lets you know that you really do have it a lot easier than, than, uh, than you may think. And there's a lot of people that you find, you find things a lot about, so. Um, well, I went into it, I was a little skeptical, but I came out realizing, you know, that I have a lot to offer to everybody else and everybody else has a lot to offer to me. I got to open up, see my friends open up, people I didn't even know open up and it just like gives you a sense of feeling of like you're welcome there and everyone loves you. You realize that everyone loves you and that the only thing I would say is they probably should have done it earlier because you make so many new friends and I don't know, it was a great time. God, live in the fort. Well I just try to like do little things. It's not necessarily doing, you know, big projects every day and, you know, preaching the Bible. It's more like little things, like saying hi to the girl that, you know, is really quiet and shy, doesn't talk a lot, or, you know, saying, oh, like, how are you, you know, just like little things like that, I think. Oh, live the fourth? Well, I mean, people, because I went before half the grade, so they're always down about Kairos, but you just tell them that it's, they'll love it and it's a fun experience and you just got to keep living it I guess it kind of speaks for itself. Um, I'm not as judgmental as I was before before Kairos. Um, I used to just judge people based on my first impression of them and now I like learn more about them before I make my decision about what kind of people they are. So I'm more open towards new things I guess. Well, my service project, I'm working with the altar server ministry in my parish. Um, I'm the assistant director, so I would help the director organize the servers. I helped him train new servers. I went to all of the religious head classrooms with him, dressed in the altar server robe, because I've been serving for six years, and we kind of gave them uh, an explanation of what the server does and why they're important. I think that by helping others serve God. It brings me closer to Him because not only am I sharing with them my time, trying to make them feel comfortable, I'm also sharing my talent of being an altar server, being reverent on the altar, my knowledge of the way the Mass runs and what needs to be done. Being an altar server, you're right up in front, in front of everybody, and you're like touching all the sacramental stuff. It's it's really powerful when you're that close, when you have to ring the bells during the consecration. And it's like you're letting everyone else know that Jesus is here. I did, for my junior service project, I uh, started off by do, helping out at Relay for Life in Elmhurst. And uh, we walked around the track all night and helped set up and clean up the next morning. And uh, I also coached a soccer team, helped with one of the teachers here, Mrs. Nowicki. She was the head coach I assisted with a seventh grade soccer team at St. Luke, so it was actually a really fun experience. We did this um, thing where we would clean the shoes and set them up so we can give them to people in different countries who've never had a pair of shoes before. And then for food pantries, we would help cook food and organize like Thanksgiving bags for families who couldn't afford their own. Uh, my service project that helped, uh, helped my auntie out in the uh, Urban League and uh, basically it didn't get real complicated, but uh, 
I just helped her, you know, help students out, you know, with uh, things that they didn't know how to do. I was just kind of like a, a, a small bit in, in the whole piece. But uh, you really, I mean, you learn a lot there too, just uh, that uh, you, you can help anybody really. My favorite one was Peace Builders. It was down at the Catholic Theological Union. And it was a week retreat and we learned about Catholic social teachings. Then we went out into um, different nonprofits around Chicagoland area and I worked at a school called San Miguel and it was um, like in the back of the yards neighborhood with children that were very like underprivileged. And it was kind of like I had to learn how to gain their respect and from them I learned that you know, I can't just go in there thinking that, oh, they'll love me, you know, they'll respect me. It was like a duel. I learned from them and they learned from me. It was cool.